Right now you're watching me on the Canon R6 Mark II. I unboxed this camera in a video like oh, a little over a month ago now and I kind of want to talk about how I've been liking the camera because I've used it on pretty much every shoot I've done since. Is it doing everything I need it to? Let's talk a little bit about it. This is the Canon R6, the, the original. This was my primary camera for two years. And now the quality between this and this isn't really that noticeably better or different in any way. It was less about upgrading from this camera and more about having a second camera that could do the things that this camera couldn't. Also fun fact with this specific R6 is that Peter McKinnon actually held this exact camera in his hand. Here's that clip. The second you put this on, everyone's like, professional, yep. I don't like, like, what, what are you doing? What are you working on? I'm trying to keep him some motion graphics for this big project. Let's see. What do you think? Uh... Yeah, it looks great. It sucks. Not your best. Oh, the deadline for this is tomorrow. What am I gonna do? Hey, have you tried Motion Array? What's that? Motion Array? You know the motion graphics website? Here, let me show you. They've got all kinds of templates for After Effects, Premiere, DaVinci, Final Cut. Look, you can search through lower thirds templates for After Effects right there. That's awesome. They even have plugins for editing software. You can integrate it right into your workflow. This is perfect. And there's even some sound effects and stock footage in there too. I'm gonna sign up right now. Great, you can check it out by clicking the link in the description. What? Sign up now for an exclusive offer of $50 off an annual subscription. Why are you talking to the wall? So whether it's for content creation or commercial projects, Motion Array has you covered with over a million assets to choose from. It's the quickest way to make your content look amazing. And you can even try it out at no cost with a bunch of free assets to download. Check it out at motionarray.com. So what did I actually buy this camera for? I really bought it for everything from shooting videos like this to shooting weddings, to shooting commercial projects, to taking photos, videos, travel, literally everything. Now when you buy a camera that can do everything, there's usually some things it's not amazing at. But overall, the R6 Mark II is a pretty good compromise. It shoots great high quality video that I use in paid work all the time. And it's also a pretty awesome photo camera. It doesn't have the 45 megapixels of the R5, but honestly, there's not many cases where you absolutely need that. Another fun fact, I actually shot a first look for a wedding right there last year. So what can this camera do that my R6 can't? What was the main reason for upgrading? The number one main thing was the fact that this camera doesn't overheat when you record 4K. Uh, surprisingly, that was enough. Now there are a couple other little features that this camera has that my R6 doesn't. You know, it's a little newer. They added a few more things, but realistically, I don't care about them too much. Now the overheating was a big deal for me because when you're shooting something all day long, like a wedding, you need your camera to work all day long and you can't have it overheat, especially when you're shooting something that you can't just, you know, you can't just halt everything because the camera's not working. Now, if you were shooting some kind of commercial production, that would be annoying enough, you know, wasting everyone's time, having to stop everything because the camera wasn't working. But when you're shooting something like a wedding, you, you physically can't stop it. It's stuff is going to happen. And if you don't capture it, you don't capture it. And although my R6 never actually overheated on a wedding day, it got very close and it's just a stress that I don't need on the wedding day. So thankfully the R6 Mark II has solved that issue. It's also solved the issue of me not having two camera bodies, which is why I kept the R6 because it's still an awesome camera and I still love it, but it works much better as a B cam. Now I can dual wheel these cameras when taking photos for weddings. I got the, you know, the harness with both cameras hanging off. One with the 24 to 70, one with the 70 to 200 to cover the full range of stuff that I would need. And then when I'm shooting wedding videos, I throw this guy with my 24 to 70 on the gimbal, rock that for the entire day, and then I can set up the R6 to shoot on the tripod to get a different angle when shooting like the ceremony or speeches. Now I've used this camera on maybe a dozen projects since I've got it and a few more if you count social media stuff, but I have an entire wedding season coming up. I think I have 
12 weddings this summer and I'm gonna use this camera for every single one of them. So if you wanna hear my thoughts on this camera after I've shot an entire wedding season, then hit the subscribe button and maybe follow along. But with all that said, here is some crisp B-roll that I've shot with the R6 Mark II so far. Let me know what you think.